what's going on you guys and this is madam and one coming back to you again uh this is from bossive bossive has pretty good stories uh it says black high school student exposes white peers races online group chat 14 year old sanaya i apologize if i uh mispronounced that sanaya edwards is a freshman at east wake high school in window north carolina and she is not here for white people's <laughs> can't can't seem bigotry according to abc 11 sanaya actually posed as a white student in order to gain access to a violent a violently racist group chat that her peers were participating in online. One of the freshmen's white friends put her on the chat and Sanaya quickly devised a plan to expose all of them for their cowardly and dangerous behavior. Uh, this is a tweet from Joe Brown. Uh, talking about Sanaya. Um, he has it spelled a different way in there, so I'm not sure um, which is the correct spelling. Sanaya changed her avatar to a white face when she was allowed access to the group chat. She said she was horrified. The chat was full of messages like pulling triggers and shooting and killing babies. One person wrote, bring slavery back. Another person debated whether their screen name should be Black Slayer. And when Sanaya called out her classmates for their racist talk, one replied with a cartoon meme of a penguin with a gun along with the words, shut up nigga. The parents notified the school of the activity, but thus far, they are very unsatisfied with the investigation that has taken place. So far, very little, if any, consequences have been doled out. And if there have been the school, <clears throat> excuse me, and if there have been, the school would not say what those consequences are. A deer in the headlights looking at Stacey Aston. The school's principal did, however, release this video. Hi, my name is Stacy Austin, principal of East Wake High School. In recent days, there have been reports of two East Wake High School students engaging in racist discussions on social media. I do not condone this type of behavior, nor does East Wake High School or Wake County Public Schools. This type of behavior is totally unacceptable. This type of behavior does not reflect my values, East Wake's values, nor Wake County Public Schools values. In the next few weeks, East Wake will be engaging our community, family, students in meaningful dialogue around race relations. While these conversations may be difficult, these conversations are much needed in our community to repair after this incident. Today, I'm doubling my commitment to make sure that East Wake High School is a safe and positive learning environment for all students. And I truly thank you for your support. Okay, so y'all saw that bullshit. Um, this bottom message says it all. Meaningful dialogue, sir. These soup cookies are talking about murdering black people ain't no motherfucking talking it's hands and feet period <laughs> right they all do need to be expelled i mean it's what and i mean it's no different than um the other story that i did about a month or two ago a couple of weeks ago about them exposing uh the border patrol and them exposing the cops in philadelphia but on a, a high school level i mean it's rampant like it's these closet races these bullies that 
you know, meet groups so they can talk about how they want to kill people and this, that, and the third. Um, if you have a platform to share this story on, please share this story. Um, this is something that needs to be brought aware of. This story needs to go viral. And basically, the only thing I really got from the principal was that he was saying enough to just cover his own ass. Like, he don't want to piss nobody's parents off. And he know that. Come on now, they in North Carolina. He know how that shit go. You know, I mean, but let's see how far the peace process going to get them. Like, they're still going to have their group. There has been, there has not been any reprimand um, as far as, um, you know, them being expelled or the consequences of that their actions were or whatever the case is. I feel as though they should turn it into the police. as a terroristic threat see when people when more people start doing that shit gonna change shit gonna start to change you're gonna start to see a, a really big change and notice in it i think that they should go and they should contact somebody the naacp whatever they need to whoever they need to contact all news outlets and they need to run this story they need to run this story because this is a problem you're sitting up there talking about killing a group of people for what for what and babies this is this is nothing this is no different and this is a prime example of domestic terrorism this is a perfect example of why stuff like this, white nationalists, and anybody else that feels the same way, needs to be put on the FBI's terror list above they call quote unquote black extremists. You know, like this, it's not no good. You know, and they in high school, you know, and then it travels off to college and then it travels and it, and it goes back into society. And then what then? You know, just a little fool for thought. But um, I do praise Sanaya Edwards, the 14 year old that was clever enough and brave enough to get this information. Like I said, again, I truly do hope that this story goes viral so please do that even if you don't post my video re post my video or share my video just find the story for yourself it's on bossip.com please let's make this story go viral um as always thank you so much for everyone that has watched my videos everyone that has commented good bad or indifferent i am grateful for that for them all don't forget to subscribe like and share and you know feel free to hit me up anytime